a backbone. Let's get to it, man. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get right to it. Actually. This should be pretty interesting. I have heard nothing, no nothing going in completely blind. But I am very excited because I love shit like this. I love games like this. Am I say continue? I looked at it for two seconds, I promise. Yes. I love the little cigarette. Like, I think that's so cool. Okay. See, isn't this just so neat, dude? Isn't that just so neat? The wolf smoking a cigarette reading a book. I love it. That's me in a past life. Sorry, Mr. Call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. Uh, 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 excuse me. Sorry about that. Yeah. Home to the high mighty. I forgot. I gotta do something real quick. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Jesus, I'm burping a lot. Everything good. Everything is good. Okay, all right, let's get to it. Home to the high and mighty skyscrapers of, full of apes, big shots, and gay communities that can keep it. Good place for a nice but expensive day. Museum and fancy music hall has not been for a long time. Granville, where the, Granville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Ah, oh, Gaston, that's the dream. Well, if you're... Bur Burgos. Burgess. Snob who dreams of overpriced salad is nice and clean though. Don't throw me big words right now. I'm not ready for that. Where all the fishing boats hang out, plenty of warehouses, and seriously sketchy dive bars too. Lower middle class villa is not gas town, but it's respectable. But it's respectful enough. I grew up there on the border with West End. No one's idea of paradise, mainly factories and cramped tenement blocks, full of neglected souls. This is where stuff gets made, doing honest work with your hands, not a bad life, really. Where most of our food is grown, widest open spaces in the city, more restrictions on the public visits every year. Ah, uh, Pianetti, you beautiful, dangerous, renegade, you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. My diploma projects, pr my diploma project, places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools, leaving places they shouldn't be. Mama Helen Loader taught me everything I know, and I spent years trying to unlearn, unlearn half of it. Huh. Interesting. Anything over here? Okay, I'm not going in there. I need to look at these. Insurance fraud, stolen cars, strange lovers should probably be in the bin. Some of these old case files. Oh, yeah, dude. Let's get rid of that. Okay, that's all I can do. Gotta hit up Frankie to fix it whenever I have cash. So never. <laughs> Me and you both, brother. Call mom, buy, sell, pay bills, don't die. That's all. That's literally my. I have the same schedule every day. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning or gray soup. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Let's go check out the toilet. Toilet books, my favorite. The Great Apes, The Great Story, Swell Toilet Reads. I'd agree. 
God, I love this game. Hard to get tired of this view. God, it kind of kills the vibe, but I need it to be, I, I could probably turn it down a little bit. I need it to be somewhat, um, like, that's not what it's supposed to be, but I need it to be somewhat like this, because I need, because, like, on the stream, it looks like it should, but on my shit, it doesn't, which is fine. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> that must be Miss Creed. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loader. We spoke on the phone. Gather, you have a case for me, Miss Green. At your service, Miss Green. How's your day going? That's me. We were vague before, so tell me everything, Miss Green. How should I play this? Your service. I'll just be the nice guy that I am. Oh, um, truth be told, my back is killing me. Killing me. Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. Please, oh, dad, it's fine. Your first kid, you got. Your first kid, third actually. Huh. I'm guessing you didn't come to ask about a babysitter. Is this rude? I don't know. I understand this sort of thing is routine. Your line of work is your husband. You see. He's a cheater, ain't he? I'm listening, I'm listening. He decides to move himself in and getting hold on hours making weird excuses. He tried to talk to him about it. Yes, but he gets difficult, like it's my fault. Listen, I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court, are you filing for a divorce? That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that Custy won't even be questioned. Your husband still won't want the kids. Uh, I can't take any chance anymore. But has he said anything? He said he's, has he said or done something to make you think he would? When did you realize he must be unfit? He might be unfaithful. He was always a private kind of man. Now he starts getting, started getting home late. You see where it's really funny. Really has he been aggressive? I can't see how this. Oh, this is pertinent. Pertinent, Miss, Mr. Loader. Oh, daddy. Oh, dad, personal details can make or break a case. I don't know how, see how this would help you take a photo of my husband. I have to know if he's dangerous. I know better. I'm an investigator. I know better what's required for the case. What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter. Oh, he wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band. As far as I know, oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Next question would probably be full name, many alliances. Jeremy Green. If I think people were calling him Jazz. Where would I find him? Where did he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I write the address down for you. Oh, I know that place. <coughs> Have you met any of his friends? How would I pick him out of a crowd? Where would I find him usually, I mean? Usually I work at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? Nobody's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. That should be enough. That's just a matter of my feet. I can give you 100 now and 50 when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. <clears throat> it's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? It's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? No, but I have no choice. My life is online. I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Let's go to Granville. 
So he works at home. God, my chair is so creaky. Dude, I love this shit. This is sick. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Cocktails and movies sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. They did a great job restoring the rogue. If people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. I like that. And I told you, hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on the fine evening like this? My beaver, Power S. Joe, and the kid. They're both doing just fine. SC and I are good, great. We even blessed the shepherd. Got a second lad, do soon. Oh, and I got a great story for you. And another wow, you guys are so lucky. <clears throat> Thanks, he's a big one too. As he is round, it's watermelon. Anyway, the story I tell her, huh? When you can get you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Huh, funny. And so ha, ha she just turns me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh boy, women man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Women, mysterious creatures, they love bread. So we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're going to have a bro soon. He's like, oh no, bro, what is it? What was it, Tony? So I tell him, mom and papa work hard so the apes let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Sure is. Oh God, this guy fucking is talking. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, daddy, we're going to be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's a catch. There's a catch. You and mom are going to have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that got depressing. <laughs> I'll manage, I'll manage. What do you say you were doing here? Send a picture. Show him a picture. Yeah, yeah. yeah I seen him. Barrel of laughs. Barrel of laughs kind of guy smells really bad. Took him back from the body of sometimes. Or the body Took him back, took him back from the bio a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? He smelled of what exactly? Poopy kind of smell, stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Did you ever talk? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most time and smell didn't have talking for both of us, huh? Any idea where he'd be now? I guess the bio is as good as guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to this other. Take care, my man. Bye. That was fucked. Squirrel. Yo, old man. How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. I'm tracking someone for a case. Hello. What the fuck? What are you I'm streaming. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, now we're talking. When the guy do murder, arson, nothing so bad as your crime against passion. What's with that jacket? Murder, he's just missing. What game is this? It's called Bad Mode. It looks cute. Man, that's a letdown. Who is the chump? That's Undercline Detective. I love it. Love you too. Oh, tell me later then. Nah, man, even if I have out, I'll tell you, we'll see. Well, this guy's not gonna help. That's not cool, man. Canines. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See, you're not only the buy it. We'll think this is where this is where Green works. Yeah, how are you doing this pleasant evening? You folks work at the Wolf Thing, right? Take a look at these jazz around. Who are you? P.I. Howard Loader, when was the last time you saw him? P.I., what did that ass had to do? Nothing, I just want to talk to him. Why he beat up his wife? Why do you think he did? 
But that lizard was eating his brain, eating his brains out for a while now. Oof. With the two children, three children, what the fuck is he thinking? She gonna leave him dry with triple alimony, alimony soon, I tell you. Right, did you see her today? Today with the wimp ass left early, he's scared Derek's gonna split his wig. Where do you think he headed? What's up with Derek? Jeez, Jazz, that was my hundo that ass hat. Did something happen at work? Does Jazz have a girlfriend or something? If you reckon Harlots are sort of girlfriends, then sure it could be with one of them for all I know. Did something happen at work? Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside of work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bite, could he be there right now? Be there now? How the fuck would I know? Not skedaddle rag. I'll do just that. I definitely wouldn't fit in, man. That crowd wouldn't want to. Hank! Bastard. No entrance for raccoons, goodbye. I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you. Tiny striper, man. All right, see you. Fourteen ninety nine for a trim. I'll stick the mirror, pair of scissors, and large whiskey. I'll crap down. He's on duty on the booth. I bet I can't deal with him right now. Okay, okay. He's puking. <laughs> Howard, well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry. Larry, what are you doing here? How are you doing, old man? You call me old man. You should, you should look in the mirror. I'm doing okay. I'm looking for some. Pussy's rags likely don't. Uh -huh, all right, that's fair. Pussy's rags would likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect you to be here. I to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects seeing anyone on a no in a back alley? What's going on? What are you up to? I'm still a private detective. I have you. My own gig went downhill a while back. Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? You live here now? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd here is? No, I live at the bridge. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? No, I really thank you, though. Not what you do. Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can't tell client confidentiality. Must be a shifty guy, what's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Here's a photo. I haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I gotta leave, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break, it's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter, that's weird. I mean, I just how I could get in. What you can do is ask Johnny, he know better than me. Who's Johnny? Uh, squirrel kid with the leather jacket, he's a pusher. I don't know entirely what his deal is. Deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff is Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype and shatter thing. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <clears throat> and you think Johnny, this Johnny guy to help? Might take him some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Monkey butt. Yeah, word is this new thing's the shit, though perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it kind of kind of have kind of a herbal sting? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the bear family, crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison, and the current owner is a relative. Yeah, she's illegitimate. She's an illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa, what are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit, how she's got an for a lover, or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite, thanks. 
You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Larry was a delight and a help. I hope everything works out for him. This game is cool. What do you want? Can I get inside? Okay, whatever, bro. I think I know who to talk to. This guy. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I'm Howard Lotus. Pleased to meet you. Name's Wallace. What do you want, Waldo? I need to get into the buyer. I heard you did my view I need to get... I need to get into the buyer. I bet you do, pal, but why should I care? Heart is the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new sh new school jazz and a great upholstery? I think you know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, alright, get out of I know I'm being a get out of here, old fart. <laughs> Kid, I know I'm being a bore, but I really need your help. Please, would you let me add? Just help me with the big guy up front, that's all I'm asking. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason, so I'm say I make you sip a sip a deco. What does Johnny get in return? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. I'm a detective, my mark is gonna buy all you want. You're shitting me proof, but Prove it, punk. I might consider you not turning you to the cops. You help me out, you feel me? Look at me, I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. I like that one. Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too, and the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. Weird hearing that from a fella with so much fur Joe that he gets to, that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash telling it. At least my mother isn't busting your gut in the farmlands. Fuck you, I'll get you in, but only so you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance pool after you. Whoa, I did it. So talk to the bouncer, what are you waiting for? What do you want? Here's Johnny. Oh, Johnny, you brought, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in, don't cause any trouble. I know what I'm doing. So I need to actually this Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies, all oh, a little too behind for my taste. Well, you're unusual. Not unlike that greeting. Touche, Renee Wilson, Howard Loader. Wallace, pleased to meet you. That's a big num. You're too young for a Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. You would have said that no matter what I could name my game. He's my well, Wallace tonight. Delightful. Hey, this guy. This lady's trying to back on me. Do I detect sarcasm? Ever got tricked by a raccoon before? Do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted my life. It's got a lot more interesting. I hope that you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Investigative journalist. It's a living usually. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? You're here for Edom Simmons' show too. I'm so happy to see you alive. Sorry. I haven't heard of her before, has a nice sound no. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. This is like a big fan. I got a record player just, just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. Have you been here before? 
Yeah. Hey, no. My mom doesn't approve of the place I had to do with me to sneak in here and like how come I don't know about guys. Good music sounds like it was like, just like it was worth it. As we walk those dark Oh, well you can like be sure if you stay for the whole show. City streets You know I had to do my sneaker do my share of sneaking if you were like I'll color me a tree if not for me what he's gonna do Can you keep a secret? Yes sir. Looking for a man. Here's this photo. Wait, why is that a secret? I'm, more, I'm a private investigator. I'm working a case right now. No way. I would have never guessed. She's a bit of a nuts. What's the case? I can be, I can say I can say that because like I can say these things because I'm a bit of a nuts. But what I mean is. It's important to hush hush, even from him. Secret. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Do you see where he went? He talked to a lady in the Jake colored dress and then went upstairs up there. Was his hat green? Oh, yeah, since I was in style, I thought that was funny. Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Thanks and enjoy the show. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Andre, what? Oh. <coughs> Isn't this too dreamy? Well, you sure are. God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? Mm, sorry, no. Oh, that was the first bad one. Evening, sugar, enjoy yourself. And here, how can I not be? We aim to please. So we wait here. I'm not the likes you. For the VIP is in. I'm for a certain class of customer dedicated one. And what does the dedication earn? You tell me better yet, come back when you know. What do you like to do after hours? I hope you know better than your proposition me. Just curious, everyone has hobbies. If they have time, I used to take photos. I'm a photographer too, what a coincidence. <clears throat> oh, for whom? Uh, nothing you know. Try me what catches your eye. People faces your face. The darkness is shadow cast by the bright lights. Good for you, what do you shoot on? I like a prime lens. I'm into it. You used to have a Leica too. Maybe you'll pick it up again. Wouldn't count on that. I don't count on anything. How very cynical from you. Would you prefer, you'd prefer if I was naive, miss? Call me Ingrid, Mr. Howard and me Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I hope we see you again soon. I'm, I'm just fucking tired of that. I'm not I mean, I'm turning this detective raccoon into a fucking monster. Now he's kind of just sitting and staring, which is a little weird, but. He, 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 he three for four, okay? <clears throat> he was doing good, I, I'd say. That was cool. What's up, Clarissa? You look a little lost. Is, is that obvious? I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? Do I look like a troublemaker to you? Say I was. There's an old saying about books and their covers, but you know better than me. Well, my cover today is a raccoon and a trench coat, not too troubling am I? What is it you're worried about exactly? <clears throat> I prefer to take care of what's mine. Why do I feel like I'm missing something? Allow me to formally introduce, oh my God. Why allow me to formally introduce myself? I'm Clarissa Bloodworth, I own the bike. Well, allow me to say you got a very cozy, cozy place here. Thanks, I strive to offer a sophisticated experience here. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Name's Wallace. The pleasure is mine, Wallace, and what's your profession? I'm a photographer, mostly private stuff. Creative is so impressive, so how can I help not? Darling, well, you're the expert. Do you have any special recommendations? Folks say that our chef's special is to die for, but I pride myself on everything here being equally special. So what brought you here tonight? 
I heard you also provide more exciting services. Well, now that depends what sort of excitement are we talking about here. This place must have a VIP section, am I wrong? I'm not sure you're quite called for it just yet. I do anything what's required. Simple, convince me at least one word of what you told me is truthful. How am I going to do that? I've only been utterly sincere. Mr. Wallace, is that really your name? Is, if that is your real name, playing coy clearly doesn't suit you and it's certainly not appropriate in my establishment. I suggest you take your business out elsewhere. Too bad. Guess I'll have to give my money and find nowhere else to give my money to. As you wish, perhaps I'll pass across some other time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Oh my fucking god, I was doing so good. Fuck! I was in, bro. What are you looking at? Why are you here? Just out for a smoke, why do you care? <clears throat> you were sorry. You work at the bike. Piss off, what kind of game are you playing now? I told you I'm not leaving until I get her back. Get who back? Are you looking for someone? Right, mate, like you don't know, not fooling me. No, sir, I'm on you, and I'm not moving from this spot until you let me talk to my daughter. Are you looking for your daughter? I'm no fool. I know she's in there, but she doesn't want to talk to me. No, that's not. They won't let me see her. Is she at the bite? I'll keep an eye out for her if I manage to get in. You're not one of them thugs. What thugs? I'm really here on my own business. No man, private check the home without her nice man. Protect my own sin. Maybe we can help each other out. I need a way into that building, can you help me? Maybe, I mean, not really. Try the card at the door, but damn filthy slugs won't let me in. I just want to talk to her. What happened? What code? Great fire. I memorized it. Great fire. Damn me, I looked at the wrong schedule. Let me in. My daughter's in that filthy. They won't let me talk to her. Why won't they let you talk to her? Says she doesn't want to talk to me, but they're lying. I know it. They just want to keep her all her stuff like. What's she doing in there? Can decide she's gonna make it all on her own, land herself in a whorehouse. Stupid. Oh, they're drugging her. I know it. They won't let me see her own mother. Let her see her own mother, my poor baby. <clears throat> I'll keep an eye out for her if I get in. What does she look like? Gray fur. Her name's Rosie. Rose. Drives her nuts when you call her Rosie. Just turned 20. If they heard a single whisker on my baby's face, that's where I'm gonna burn the hype to the ground. How are you so sure she's still in there? She's my baby. I know where she is. I can sense it. So she's been visiting the bike before? Told me she was waitressing, but I asked around this whole surf drugs and sleeves. When did you last see her? Two or three weeks ago, we had a fight. So you fought about her job at the bite, and that was the last time you saw her. What about it? Nothing, I'll do my best to find her. Thank you, tell her I'm waiting out here. They haven't told her, I'm sure. Do you know of any other way in? No, I heard voices up on the roof, but how'd you get up, but how'd you get up there? All right, looking for help. Thanks for helping me out, I better go look for a way in then. Please, if you see my daughter, just know I need to see her, please, thanks, take care. The rest is about broke into a truck. The interior is filled with cardboard boxes and smells like rust. There's a weird looking recording device on a dashboard that compartment seems to be unlocked. You open the compartment and find a couple of newspapers and documents that look like invoices and checks. Go up to the newspapers. Two newspapers from September and October. They don't look like anyone's reading through them. Epidemic continues. The keys may be spreading disease. Geezers. Vicious wall attacks. Vicious wall attack leaves three defenders wounded, one dead. Look at the invoices. They all mention a company called Starling Cider Limited purchasing unnamed goods from Bite Foods LLC. The most recent purchase is supposed to be happening today. Try to use it. It's a voice recording device hardwired into a truck dashboard, probably set for surveillance. You might be able to print out the recordings if you enter the correct dates. Select dates from the invoice of your newspapers. September 22nd, got three packages for you. Geese, damn you, I can't fit that many. We expect you two hours ago. Continue being an ass and I'll leave. 
October 9th, we have five packages ready for pickup. Three is all I can fit in the truck. You're four hours late when you uh, go back to the interior and leave. I should pick up more. Drug killer is doing this headache is trying to kill me. Oh, little nurse, they'll tend to the shop. I should say hi before you get stripped out by Yummy Mart. Maybe next time. Sid. <laughs> Feeling peckish? I got sweet and savory. You can mix and match. Make your own chum mix. How about it? You have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course, got salted and unsalted. East Bur Baggies worth a half loon, but I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. I'll give you one. See, you say you hang around Granville often. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. The jazz, fancy jazz bar. I assume you tried the front door. Got kicked out through the front door. Maybe there's a back door. I really don't know the place. Well, sorry. You're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Why'd you get kicked out, sir? Got into an argument that turned into a fight. Why are you trying to get back in? Sounds like trouble. I'm a private eye. Working the case. He's very cool. What's the case? I'll let you in if you let me get into the bite. I wish I could help. I would if I could, I swear. But I was being shit before. I don't know the way to get in. Ever been on the rooftops? Uh, no, sir. I wish I could be more help, but I've never been up there myself. No, no, no thanks. No problem, kid, thanks. Of course, sir, can I obviously be? No thanks to you. Rich people clothes, one sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. <laughs> Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat, all memories. All memories. Good day to you, friend, fancy some fresh news. Anything good happening for a change? For a loan, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today all are, all are all grade eight parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. I'd like to, one more thing, I'd like to climb your stand, please. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to stand, keep it stand in good condition? Come on, bro, I need this for work. <clears throat> I promise to pay for any damages. You're broke as a goose, couldn't cover damages even if I wanted to. What if I could offer something else as collateral, my PI skills, for example? Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with some little is issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed selling peak hawker off Granville. Can you do that? I don't know, Bo, that's not what I do. Sorry, who? That sneaking Pika with a cart by the clothes store. He's just a kid, why is he a problem? That rodent, this rodent on the wheel is the, doesn't have to worry about allowancement or utilities. He sells his nibbles dirt cheap and poaches po po my business. You sure he's evading allowance though? How else would someone profit off, these, off those prices? So what do you want me to do? I want that damn rodent off of Granville. Can you take care of that? Not really my style though. Scratch back. Mine yours. If that's what it's gonna take. Well, looks like I'm. Or. Alright, yeah. Fuck. Hey. 
Hey there, back from Willis and I have a strange, hey, strange, hey, Sid, not quite, I have a strange favor to ask. What's up, it's stupid. Could you leave Granville at least for tonight? Uh, I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sell spot this time of night. See, you're not supposed to be here. What do you mean, not supposed to? I need something phony once you're gone. Of course he does. That thinks I'm a driver, so silly. What do you need from that old stash? Remember how I asked you about the rooftops? What's that gotta do with it, do you think? I found a way, but Bo won't let me go through until you leave. Path light. That I'm a detective, the path to my lead lies through a stand. Right, I'll have a business proposition. What if we got rid of Bo instead? I'm listening. Bo thinks he own, owns Granville because he has a paid up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mom and I built this car with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help my family. Where's this going? I was a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. Let me let him know you know, you know. You think he'll buy it? He'll blink anything to protect his precious per permit. Protect his precious permit. Let's team up. I can't miss it. Go talk to him. I'm about to the shepherd for you. Okay, bye. Well, I'm teaming up with a kid over an old buddy. I think, well, you hear that passion. Uh, what? I don't know. There's a bleach way coming up. Sin is about to snitch on you. Just me for one. You're selling. You're a porn dealer, Bo. I'm a hardworking rodent business owner. How dare you keep me in Los Angeles? You better wrap up for today to be safe. During my peak performance hours, so you can climb my kiosk, you think you better, better, is that it? It's not about me, it's about justice. You, everything is always about you. Going around snitching on people, getting on their nerves, undercutting honest businessmen like myself. If I want snitch, said Will. And it's who said he won't tomorrow. Degenerate, ruined my whole evening. What a treat to live a lawful life among trash like you. That's just rude, I'm calling the police officer. Wait, I'll leave, asshole. Damn you and your whole kind. Bye. That was stupid. I feel like I'm gonna have to play it. What, who's the top dog now? Foxy Burger, suck it. I feel like I need to play through this again and do different stuff at some point. I wonder how long this game is. Cause I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing fucking, I'm being crazy. What if you has guessed there are benefits to risking your life on rain slick rooftops? Don't mind me, boys. This game looks looks good. Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. All right, Green. After all that, you better be in here, you bastard. I know, dude. That's how I feel, bro. Fuck. Address me. Thanks, Shepard. Same thing. Okay, no turning back now. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually came in recycled newspaper. Margaret Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady, not really my type though. Happy birthday, Rose. I hope they gave you a day off. Nothing pops in the mouth like pops candy. Come on, Howard, you can do this. You're doing this. Yeah, Howard, let's go. <clears throat> Some honey for your team, Mom swears by Greg. Who's Greg? Nice. Open door. Profile on to the people in the woods. Jasmine must be in there. Fuck. Well,
Damn, did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help us. Right? There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How do they get there? Green hat, green hat, green must have been here. You know, where's the rest of it? Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. What the? A secret lift? I think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Well, it's getting crazy. It's getting absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. It's very interesting. Okay. What's a grim looking furnace? What are they burning in here? Lift. No going back now. Open door. Looks like the guests of the buyer are eating well. Cold for it. Greg, the inventory was off again. If I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little finger. There's a list of extensions close by. Dial free. <laughs> no, because I feel like, no, I shouldn't. Okay, it's gonna make me do something. Well, that'll kitchen. Yo, this is kitchen, what do you need? If that's Greg, no, I'm not making you a sack. Boy speaking, hey boy. Greg reset the food here. I'll just check the thing. Wait, 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 wait. Dial for you. Dial packaging, no, it's gonna dial kitchen. It said, oh my god. <laughs> I knew it. my room with no fucking light in it and I was like well I can light your candles I fucking lit her candle for light she's like oh well great this helps me get ready <laughs> how's your game coming along gotta make sure I'm not seeing my like eyes are big and I smell delicious though I don't know what I'm doing is this like um that anime B stars I'm supposed to get this guy's attention. Oh, she's walking in with all these hops there. Because I just tried to do that. <laughs> Don't look at me, you can't. Maybe you can throw something? I'm just trying to help. What about turning on that? Okay, blender? yeah, I can't. Maybe. Maybe it's actually not going to happen. Oh, no. Maybe it's something at that label. It keeps okay, hey, listen. Let me do this, please. I hope your wine nurse is how you should be going. Can 
wanna try? There we go. Some kind of lock in the back in there. It's back to locker. Gregory, could you let me keep your papers on your locker, man? What, am I supposed to like... Greg, the turn oh, the Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. Wait a minute, maybe it's my ticket out here. I need a turnkey. Why do I have this in my hand? Numbers are symbols. I think I Five, three, eighteen. Try that one. Where do you see the eighteen? On the guy's shirt. Oh, okay. I doubt that's it, but let me try. I know, right? <laughs> I'm like, fuck. Ten zero. Maybe three eighty nine.
Oh, I get it. Okay, so put the ace, I mean the, the card. So it's five. Definitely, because that's where that would be. Like, oh, yeah, that makes sense. And then it goes over the papers and whatever number's showing. Right. Okay, so like, you see that gray one? How it's the same exact size as that five card? Put it on top of the five card. And then you match those up with whatever cards fit them exactly. So it's going to be five is your first number or second. And you can match that one up with others. Good job. Order. No, because like five, four, five. So three. the square, which one's got the square? This one. So it's zero, four, zero, four, five, one, zero, four, five, one, or zero, four, five, one. That was, dude, stressing out. I actually helped you. Are you happy? Yeah, no, that, yeah, but it, it would have took me probably Aren't 30, I smart? 30 you more just, minutes you to figure it out. You should probably how smart I am. You should have me as, like, your little sidekick on these games every now and again. Maybe. So when you come in here, you're like, you're so abusive. It's so cold down here. Where are the lines? This game's actually kind of fun. Do you mind if I hang out here for a second? Yeah, I like this game. I was just on Game Pass downloading games and I found it and I was like, oh yeah. Okay. When did you download Game Pass? I got it. Oh, I did not. That's cool. Oh, is that body? Oh. Oh my fucking what? Dead body. It's a <laughs> naked dead body. What the fuck? Fuck me, fucking Jet. No. Oh, no, no, no. The Touch corpse the offers you no good answer. Touch the corpse. You place a finger on the corpse, not quite yet. Try to assert and cause a death. The body shows no obvious signs of violent attack. It's just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe you had a heart attack, maybe not. The body lies this. It is still, it is there, dead. Probably murdered recently. It went Sniff the body. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's <laughs> not the body. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and cheap bone. How to get by a stringent, by a stringent, herbal sting. get caught on that one though. I don't know. I have to hide behind like shadowy things, so I think I know what to do. Oh what the fuck that's smart. 
You see, I want to figure that part out. What is he doing? I don't know. Maybe that's what they cook? Greg here. No, I'm still working on the cut. Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> oh. Uh, okay, come here. I knew it when I saw the meat hooks in there hanging upside down. Seems like a fucked up version of Zootopia. <laughs> How the fuck do I get that? Oh, it's gonna tell me. Okay. Even you didn't deserve this, nobody does. Can you turn key? Maybe I'll make it out alive. You should probably read those little silver stairs and just come read them. No, no, I don't know. Okay. Let me say to you, I was just saying. Sorry. No, no. Yay, we're out. I like how it's a burning cigarette for your little. I know, I, I do. That sold me. I love that. I thought that was so cool. Wait, was I not supposed to do that? Dude, I love it. Almost I so He's so cute. Do you see him? <laughs> I like him. Yeah, he's puking. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. He's not his best friend. That wasn't his friend. He was easy to protect. Wow, he's just taking over a random person. Mm -hmm. This is a weak ass weapon. My dad's so funny, though. You know. Yeah. You probably shouldn't say this, but my dad's. Yeah. Mom can't kill people. Wait, that's the end of the game? No, that's oh. the beginning. But that is. When Episode the fuck are you one. That's Act One. Achievement unlocked. Fuck, fuck, fuck. They were, they were butchering him. They were butchering him. Did they suppose the body or something worse than that? Is the bite serving? No, that's crazy. People don't eat people. Is the bite serving people's flesh? Yes. <laughs> they were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Every time, oh no, don't remember. No, oh no, no, don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. Is he drinking? Getting drunker? No, it's the drug. What the fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked. I have a duty to do something. What am I going to tell Dad? Is that Dad's husband? Could I just ask Claire if there's a blood with him? I'm sure she not concerned. I could spread the word. I could go back and get some of the evidence. I was looking to make it out alive for the first time. I'm not going back in there. I can't. This, this is might my be chance the, to do something meaningful. Might be the most important case I've ever had. This is my chance to do something meaningful. Yay! I don't want to spend my life snapping cheaters and finding stolen watches. I also, also don't want to die. That's so dramatic. Also don't want to die. Yeah, but I just yeah I just don't want to be alive sometimes. Fuck! I wish someone would tell me for real. I'm fine. I can do this alone. Oh, Grace, you're making your he got a he got a number from somebody. I wish I could have someone talk to. No one would get anyway. I have to wing by myself like always. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? Who should tell the police? What am I going to tell her that? How about the truth? Drag it out. The truth. The truth might be too harsh for her. Your husband was butcher in the basement of some sleazy bar. I was there. Fuck no. I'll just call him and get drag it out. Say that I'm still looking for him. Why didn't you just tell her the truth? I have no, cause he, I don't know. I have no idea why he was killed. Maybe I'll find her some proper answers. I'll just call her and wing it. Maybe it's the best that it's for the best that he's gone. Why, Jazz? What did he do? 
<clears throat> Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? What if he's not the first? The guy seemed like a harmless loser. Hey, it's me. <laughs> in any case, what could you do to deserve being butchered? Impossible to know for sure. What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I should tell the police. Is that really going to work? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. No way she's doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into private property. I'd like to report a butchery. They probably arrest, arrest me for trespassing and ignore, ignore the rest. The bastards hate unsolved murders. They bury the case in red tape. So they just arrest me and earn a favor from Bloodworth for free, no thanks. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard, think. I have no what clue what to do. I'm useless. Hey, it's me. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. This guy is so fucking a coward. Oh, it's, yeah. See, man, you called it. I'm a fucking coward. It's, it's pussy. It's call, stop. Pussy. It's called backbone. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to, like, I think he's got a problem with, like. Oh, wait, am I not allowed to say that? No, you can say put it on. Okay. I'm sorry. I just want you to trouble. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. Let's go. Make him call himself fucking coward. That's what you are, Howard. Let's give it a go. Let's go drink. God, don't make Howard alcoholic. If he's gonna, if I'm gonna be, he's gotta be too. He poured it out. Oh, I thought he poured it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Is that actually called? Is he crying? He is crying. He's so pathetic. Don't say that about Howard. Fuck this. He's so edgy. All he's right. Like an edgy teenager. That's Act One. If you watched, 